Judge Brett Kavanaugh says he's not going anywhere in a very unusual public defense of his fitness to serve on the Supreme Court. He strongly denied allegations of sexual misconduct from Christine Blasey Ford and Deborah Ramirez during a TV interview last night. He used extremely personal information to claim he is not that kind of person. President Trump then accused Democrats of trying to destroy Kavanaugh with, quote, an array of false accusations, the likes of which have never been seen before. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill, where we'll hear from Kavanaugh and Ford on Thursday. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. And Republican leaders say they are going forward with that hearing despite the new allegations. In fact, they say they may hold a vote on his confirmation in the Judiciary Committee as early as Friday. With his wife sitting at his side, Kavanaugh said he looks forward to clearing his name. I'm not going anywhere. Judge Brett Kavanaugh had a message for his critics and stuck to it. I am looking for a fair process. Just asking for a fair process, I want a fair process where I can defend my integrity. Kavanaugh discussed for the first time whether he knew Christine Blasey Ford. I, I may have met her. We did not travel in the same social circles. She was not a friend, not someone I knew. He denied forcing himself on her or anyone. I've never sexually assaulted anyone, not in high school, not ever. He also denied Deborah Ramirez's claim that he exposed himself to her at a Yale University party. Never did any such thing. The other people alleged to be there don't recall any such thing. Lawyer Michael Avenatti says he has a client who saw Kavanaugh and his high school friends target multiple girls for sexual assault. When the American people hear from her, they will determine, as I have, that she is to be believed. Kavanaugh called that claim outrageous. I did not have sexual intercourse or anything close to sexual intercourse in high school or for many years thereafter. Through all these years that are in question, you were a virgin. That's correct. Kavanaugh insisted he was not a rowdy teen. I was focused on academics and athletics, going to church every Sunday at Little Flower, uh, working on my service projects and friendship. But his yearbook page repeatedly referenced drinking. And in a statement, his former Yale roommate reportedly described Kavanaugh as a notably heavy drinker who became aggressive and belligerent when he was very drunk. James Roche admits he did not observe the incident Ramirez describes, but he says he believes her. It's really hard to believe. This is not consistent with, with Brad. Kavanaugh's wife, Ashley, said she has struggled to explain all of this to her kids. We told them at the very beginning of this process, this will be not fun sometimes. And just remember, you know your dad. Kavanaugh said the president called him yesterday. I am with Judge Kavanaugh, and I look forward to a vote. Top Republicans suggested this is all part of a conspiracy. This shameful, shameful smear campaign has hit a new low. Christine Blasey Ford's attorneys responded to those remarks by the Senate's majority leader, Mitch McConnell. They said that they were inconsistent with the Senate Judiciary Committee's pledge to provide Ford with a fair and credible process. Nora. All right, Nancy, thank you.